And we are on episode 36 of support unranked to diamond by playing every single support. We're on a second rotation of champions right now. So, so far we've done Zeref, Soraka and Alistair on that rotation. So we need to actually take those off the list. Take off the Soraka as well. And we've already taken the Zeref off. So the champions that you see right in front of us are the ones we're allowed to play. Now we're up against Jinx Lulu, which is a bit of a nasty bot lane, uh, and they scale quite nicely throughout the game. We've got a Tristana and a very heavy engage composition, zero magic damage on our team, but I don't think taking magic damage here is probably a good idea anyway. Question is, what do we want to play with this? I would like to play a hard engage. Um... I'm mining up like the. We'll do a Maokai game. We'll do it. Okay. We'll get that one out of the way. I mean, we got a little bit of AP damage to not fully potentially get mitigated. Um, but we're not really picking this for the damage, are we? This should be okay. I might. I was going to say I might go magic resistant rune, but no, we can do double armor, that's fine too. Okay, so we go in, we be annoying, we get the engages in, this is smurf Q. I don't even have to look at Porifestus to see this is smurf Q. everyone's in bronze. This is sus. Oh, it's gold. <laughs> I thought these borders were bronze, but they're gold. How that? How is that gold? Has it always been like that? These borders look like gold. Uh, they look bronze, not gold. What? What does bronze look like then? That's ugly, man. How's that gold? Gold does not look like that, really. Add some yellow to that. Wow. Anyway, okay, never mind. It's fine then. There's lots of gold people here. Um, I need to swap this around. We did win that Maokai game that we did play. Pike has a 30% win rate mid, and he's a one trick. That's not good. And also, mid lane Pike got nerfed this patch too. So, yeah. We'll smile and wave at him, running it down mid. My Volley Bear is on silver to gold promos. He needs to win one game of his next two to get promoted to gold or bronze or whatever this color is. It's disgusting. Enemy team is relatively competent across the board. Graves and Jinx and Lulu on the enemy team do not look like Smurfs though. So maybe we can use that to our advantage. Premium user of Parifester, yes. It means I don't get the adverts, it's huge. Take Reddit Shield. I think it's only a few pounds a month to do um, ad-free Parifester. But the uh, the people, Overwolf, the guys that sp sponsor me, I asked if they could just give it to me. And enable it on my account for free, so they did. So, streamer, actual streamer privilege. I will show you the way. Right, hit this. No. Free money. When did Porofessor add jungle timers? It's been there since I downloaded the app. I've been sponsored by them for what, about four months now, I think? So it's been there for about three, about three months. This is month four, I think. I think it's been there for quite some time.
I mean, I can't really harass them here, Eddie. That's not going to help. I accidentally pushed in the lane. I wanted to freeze it and deny them CS, but a bit awkward. Oh, Triss just missed CS. Save my ward a little bit here early on. Yeah, this Trist only has two CS. It's quite concerning. There's no way I can engage there like that. I might look to roaming to mid actually. This lane's always going to be annoying though. Triss will probably have to look to engaging shortly. No, you are insane. Why would you do that? That initial bit was absolutely fine. We got summoners off the Lulu, but then people have to get a little bit greedy, don't they? And I, I might actually have to flash this. That clipped. Rango might be able to get there in time now, though. Nope. Everyone's kind of dying down here. It's not good. Ends up being okay in the end. Kind of, we're kind of lucky that that's the outcome, honestly. They had plenty of time to back off as well. I guess they were super concerned about it being shoved. Okay, well, whatever. I know he's Tristana, but she, she can freeze that a little bit. She doesn't have to go that crazy on the lane. Trying to reddit show that them. It's helping Pipe push that in so he can just recall. Or he could even maybe come bot if there's sp space for it. Yeah, I like it. Um. Uh, okay, I don't like it. That was not very good. Like, I like the movement, but not the execution. Fizz is coming down now. Yeah, A for effort. But yeah, not not great. Because he actually have very few summoners left in their bot lane, so if he actually managed to hook one there, probably would have led to a kill. Oh well. Got Jeremy Dodgers for lunch. I used to love them as a kid, but I swear they changed the recipe on those. I had them semi recently and they didn't taste that great. Like everything these days just has reduced sugar when it's like I bought it for the sugar. So give so give me the sugar. I want that kind of minion.
It's like they get you addicted to sugar and then it's like five years later they're like, ah, yeah. We're gonna not put that in the food anymore. <laughs> we got you addicted. What? What's his problem? Switch the lady. Uh oh. Pike's got all. Okay. Rango's like behind the lane right now. Fizz doesn't have all two. But that doesn't matter. I'm not going to keep chasing this. Ah, uh, they had a ward here. I guess that was warded. I was not aware that that was warded. That sucks. Bit of a rough start to the game down here. Top's not looking too amazing. Fizz has got a 700 gold bounty. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult game. Hey, Ray, how you doing? Just a bit of a slow game, this one. I don't like playing Maokai. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, is he going to recall there, or is... Uh... He might just recall. Oh. That should be enough. It's a really big shutdown for Trist. 800 gold. Fizz should have just recalled there. He would have had time. Hmm. Trist on half HP is not cool. I'm looking out for a Jinx Salty here. We can't. Oh no, dude. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we got Dragon. It sucks that I had to tank everything there though so that Trist could get out. What are you doing though, man? Jinx has got turret aggro. Okay. What a mess this game is. Pike has ult. He's got no boots, this guy. He's stuck between three people right now. I'm not entirely sure I can help. Rengar's right there. Triss is going to die too, though. I don't know why she went melee range of the Fizz. 
What is going on? What am I watching, dude? He died. What the hell? He like high fired him. It's going to be difficult to lock on the Fizz. I'm going to just need to do my best to help protect people from him. Mordecai is also looking pretty strong. We've got a lot of top laners that haven't done very well recently. Like the Garen from the last game. That's why they're super struggling right now. No. Trust needs to be super careful. If they know that she's there, then um, she's in trouble. I thought he was going to land on me there. I think he could have killed me. He does way too much damage. What the hell? Triss died. Yeah, it's just a massive disaster right now. Mm, I don't know. It's still anyone's game, I think, right now. Rengar just got a really big bounty for top lane. I'm kind of stressed. Hey, Shadow. No Merc Treads? Nah. Look, got a lot of auto hitters on their team, the Graves and the um, the Jinx. They don't have too much crowd control. Yeah, I don't know. We're getting picked off everywhere and there's not much we can do. Fizz now has a Zonya's and no one is answering this. Hey LP, I'm doing alright. Thank you. Trying to navigate this game right now and that looks impossible. We just keep having these single fights, right? Where one person dies. 30 seconds later, one person dies. Fizz taking tier 2 turret basically for free here. Fizz missed. That's quite big for us. Triss just walked into the ult though. We're not going to be able to chase Fizz. I, I mean, Triss just walked into Fizz ult on the ground. We, we can't fight these.
Uh, I got your cut from Pike, from Lulu at least. Harold not being used top. Yeah, we don't win in this game, unfortunately. We just got way too much deficit everywhere. This is devastating what's happening up top lane right now. I mean, even if I come here to fight, we'll we just lose. Okay. I mean, Tristan's picked up a lot of cash, but I'm not sure. Okay, Mordecai is overextending top. He has to die. If he dies, he's level 13 the mod. So we do get a lot of team XP here for killing him here. Wait, what? What happened there? Does Rengar thingy get him out of Mordecai's royalty? Huh, I, I didn't know that. Interesting. Didn't realize it got him out of suppressions. We want this. No, you're not gonna go in. Oh, this is bad. Where did Triss die? In that brush. Not sure what she died to. I have no idea who killed Triss. Must have been Fizz, right? Had to be Fizz. <sighs> Graves killed her? Oh, really? I'm just getting melted by everything. Like, I'm not even a tank, I'm just a minion. This is more of what like I thought the first Maokai game was gonna be. Look at that magic damage. 1.2k magic damage. I've got 69 magic resistance, you'd think that would be enough, eh? It's a nice number. Defend this. I guess we don't. Uh, I don't appreciate that grab. I didn't. I didn't appreciate that at all. But thanks. <laughs> Finally got a locket. I'm gonna need a lot more magic resistance. If this game proceeds to carry on, this is just really sad. Nice hook on Lulu, but no follow up. We've got two assassins there, but the assassins can't go in. Ow. Rude. Got no turrets down mid. Enemy 
I don't even want to fight that. Yeah, it's already over now. The leader is also managing to be super annoying by keeping people alive. Jinx flash. Pike's about to respawn. Fizz has got no mana. Don't know what that was. But yeah, it's GG now. I traced altered Mordecai's under the fountain. Lulu died. Fizz has got no mana. Why is Trist going into melee range of graves though? Yeah. Mmm. I felt absolutely useless that game. I mean, it didn't help. I mean, with this kind of lane, right? With the Tristana, you have to get ahead of her early. And then the fact that she died the way she did by getting super greedy, trying to kill that Lulu under turret. Um, really set us on the back foot. And I never personally recovered from that, honestly. From that point onwards, it made it really difficult for me to look to go and do stuff. I tried to look for an avenue towards mid, I think, that game, uh, to maybe help out, but Pike was in the lane. He was trying to look to roam and do things elsewhere as well. Uh, so that made that really, really awkward. Um, I think Trist had the goal to potentially carry a game like this, potentially, uh, but she unfortunately didn't have the know-how to do it. I mean, that was the multiple times that she did jump into a Graves. Where you, that's like literally the worst thing that you can do. Uh, you want to make sure that you're keeping your distance away from that guy. Otherwise, you will get absolutely shredded. And she did that multiple times. So, a um, bit rough. Also, my top lane had a very difficult time. You went 2-11 that game up top. Um, it's been the same the last few games, though. A lot of my top laners have been struggling top. Uh... Don't know, just a really hard game, honestly. Fizz played really well, and then it, after that, honestly, there wasn't too much I could do. I felt like a minion the entire game, so... Yeah, if that doesn't make you want us not play Maokai support, then I don't know what will, because that felt, honestly, one of the most unsatisfying support games I've done in quite some time. So, yeah. At least we don't have to play it for a while now, though.